is a very funny comedian, actor, writer, producer, and last year, the New York Times crowned him the Picasso of puberty. <laughs> He's in a new movie about the world ending, How It Ends, opens in select theaters on, and on demand July 20th. Please welcome my friend, Nick Kroll. <laughs> I like, I you like. You clean up good. Thank you, you too. Thanks, honey. Nice to see so, you. So, uh, good to see you too. So, congratulations, uh, you and, uh, you recently got married, right? Yeah, yeah. I got married. Thank you. Thank you. And, and a baby. And I, and I had a baby, yes. My baby, thank you, yes. A little less applause for the baby, which feels... <laughs> uh, kind it, of a bigger deal, <laughs> sort of irreversible, but thank you anyway. Uh... <laughs> yeah, we had a baby. He's like five and a half months old, and it's been amazing. Um, it's it's hard. It, having a child is not easy. We're sleep training him right now, uh, which, for those of you who don't know, it's when you uh, make your baby lift weights while he sleeps. <laughs> uh, and uh, he's getting jacked. I want a jacked baby. You should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get, get all that stuff that Jimmy is on. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, get a jacked baby. <laughs> And he's he's cute. So he's a cute. cute he's cute a real baby. cute. He's a cute kid. I'm very happy. Look, oh, look, there he is. Look at that. Oh wow. Well, that is, and that's huh. an outfit you got us. You got us that 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 shark attitude outfit. You got us a number of outfits for the baby, and here's a picture of him. <laughs> and he's looking pretty cute. Yeah, uh, that that beard is really coming in yeah. nicely for him. Yeah. <laughs> People say he looks a lot like my wife. <laughs> And oh, where would he go? And now he's gone forever. And now he's gone. He's gone. So, uh, are you gonna let him watch Big Mouth? Like, at what age do you think you should watch? I mean, Big I, Mouth? The, you know, Big Mouth is a very dirty animated show. And what I thank you for for the dirtiness. Thank you. Um, uh, I'll probably follow my my one of my partners and co-creators of the show, Andrew Goldberg has always said he'll let his kids watch it when they are the age of the kids on the show. So like 12, 13 years old. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. That's good. You, and you were gracious enough to be on the show. Uh, oh, I was so honored you guys asked me to. Yes. To uh, yeah. you, Wanda played the ghost of Harriet Tubman. Uh, <laughs> it was... Yeah. Uh, I got kicked out of the NAACP, but, you know, <laughs> anything for you, Nick. Yeah, thank you, Wanda. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we had it because we, uh, Jordan Peele voices the ghost of Duke Ellington, and he haunts uh, my, my character's house. And so we did an episode about Duke as a small child, and we were like, who should haunt the young Duke Ellington's house? But it was the ghost of Harriet Tubman. <laughs> and Wanda was kind enough to do the part, and uh, one of the writers of the episode, Jack Knight, who mm -hmm. happens to be black, uh, was pitching a joke. He thought it would be really funny if Harriet Tubman used the N-word and it got somehow quieter just now. <laughs> uh, yeah, everybody was like this. Oh, whoop. shucks. Whoop. Oh, okay. Whoop. Yeah. Uh, which is what happened in the room uh, when we were like, <laughs> how do we get Wanda to... Uh, so we... Because then we were like, that's really funny, but how do we, how do we navigate that mm -hmm. right now? So uh, we actually had Jack come to the record and like casually throw, I mean, how do you, re do you remember? I remember it, I, re I do remember it. It was so funny because I was feeling as I was doing the script, I was like, this thing needs an N word in here somewhere, <laughs> All right? And then, and then when we were recording, um, I saw Jack in, in, you know, in, the, in the booth, mm -hmm. so I would do a take and then I would look in the window and I, and I just see Jack and, and yeah. you're the producers, you guys like this. <laughs> <laughs> It was like, yeah. yeah, it was like, I'm not going to answer you. So I was like, oh, it's an N-word coming. I know it's an N-word coming. <laughs> so, I, you know, I felt it, too. I was like, this would be hilarious if Harriet mm -hmm. Tubman said the N-word, mm -hmm. you know. Because you know she probably said it. Oh, I mean... Transporting all those slaves <laughs> back and forth. You know, somebody was, somebody was probably slow or somebody right. like, ooh, I'm tired. She was like, <laughs> you tired? <laughs> <laughs> she was like, yes. You know how many trips I made? Yes. 
So it's, yes, uh, all of those things. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's where, do you have, have you had that issue at all in? Oh, yeah, yeah. over at, at the Upshaws, uh, you know, it's on Netflix. So, you know, we, we know Netflix, yes. we get to do whatever, yeah. you know. Um, but yeah, it was the same thing about, I think we have two N-words in the first season. And uh, and they were like, you know, we really was hoping this could be more of like a family, and 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 now we have to give it a different rating. Oh, and really? I was like, wait a minute, we say the F word, we say you know, mm -hmm. and everything, but you tell me, you know, one gonna change everything now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But and did it? No, you guys are you. Yeah, no, oh my God. Yeah. yeah. You got picked up for it's, season two. Yeah, so. Exactly, exactly. There you go. Uh the last time we actually hung out, mm -hmm. it was at the the uh the Emmys, right? Which one was it? That? Was it was the, the creative arts Emmys. Oh. The not good enough for TV <laughs> Emmys. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's the one they because they, they had aired the real Emmys and then and then they the week before they're like let's stuff everyone in that room and we'll give out a bunch of awards for things that uh, people love but like for some reason are you know like stand up like you right. were, you were nominated for the best stand up special right and you did, I, I did not win you did not win right uh, but I I I was presenting a, another award uh, later in the show so I was like. I'm, I'm gonna end up holding an Emmy in my hand. Yeah. And like you said, nobody nobody knows it who won. Yeah. And I, so when I when I went up, you took this picture took, from me. I took that Nick, picture. Nick took this picture from me and sent it to me. I was like, I, so I was like, I'm gonna go up there and, and fake like I won. And yeah. <laughs> yes. And, and people congratulated me. Yeah, it was a big win for yeah, you. Yeah, big win, <laughs> big win. Did you and and did you? Oh, I owned it. I never, I, yeah, I was like, yeah, thank you. It was, it was uh, I, I wasn't expecting it. You yeah. Know? It was great. Have you won it? Have you won an Emmy yet? Um, I've won, but for, like, I won for the Chris Rock show, writing. I yeah. won a bunch of Emmys for um, Inside the NFL. Okay. Yeah. Just as you would always dream. It's exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, but great. it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Oh, it's coming. All right, so stick around, okay? So, because we'll be right back with more uh, with Nick Kroll after this, okay? Are you trying to go to the weed store? Yeah. I kind of bought it out. Oh, like you, you bought all the drugs inside? They gave me a deal. I just cleaned them out because I just was like, I don't want to be without on the last day. All right. Well, I guess I'll, uh, man. I, I mean, I could give you some. I'm not going to use all of it, obviously. It's not like I'm saving for a rainy day. <laughs> From your from your new movie, How It Ends. So, yes. So tell us about the movie. It's a movie written and directed by Zoe Lister Jones and Daryl Ween, and they came to me like a month into the pandemic. Mm. Like this is probably we shot this in like April uh, in LA when nobody was out in the world, and it's a movie about Zoe's character and her younger self uh, on like the last day on Earth as they wander around and, and, and like, have this adventure. Um, and obviously, it was sort of a time capsule of, like, how it felt in that moment when we were all in our own homes. Um, and I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll be in your thing, but, like, I'll be very far away from you and be outside. <laughs> and everyone, when you watch the movie, it feels like a, a real regular movie, except that you will notice, like, everybody's got this physical distance apart from each other. And... Um, so yeah, we, we shot it, and so it's it's weird now because it feels like a little bit of a time capsule of like, oh right, that was at this moment when it just it was so scary. And um, but it's a very sweet, funny movie. It's got a great cast, um, and everybody everybody you know figured out their way into it. You know, that's weird. You're shooting a movie about the end of the world during a time when we felt like, is this the end of the world? Right. Yeah, that's right? how it felt. So it wasn't. It was it was pretty easy to access. Uh, and <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, 
tonight is my last night hosting, and then next week you're going to be hosting. I'm I'm hosting a, a hey. show next week. Do you have any advice for me? Uh, everyone here is great. Uh -huh. We're going to have a lot of fun. Uh -huh. Keep an eye on Guillermo. Oh, I will. <laughs> and uh. But my, I think the biggest piece of advice I can give to you is uh, skip the breakfast burrito. Okay. <laughs> Stay away from that. Oh, really? Yeah. Does that chair not absorb? It does not <laughs> at all. Not at all. So you, skip you fart in that leather chair. <laughs> You're going to hear it. The whole world yeah, hears yeah. it. The whole world You're hears like, it. So tell me about your next movie. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. How it is. Open the select and on demand July 20th. Thank you, Nick, and we'll be back with Shanae Obumake! <laughs>